say, will a man burglarize God? He said, will a man rob God? He couldn't say, will a man burglarize God? Because burglary involves a person breaking into a place with an intent to steal. But robbery involves a person taking another person's property in their presence. So God was strategic on using the word rob because these are people who take what's his while he is looking. Malachi 3 and 8 is how I knew being afraid to step out and obey God was just an excuse because that same fear that came to keep me from stepping out and obeying God was not as powerful to keep me from robbing God. So that was my first real encounter that even the spirit of fear had limitations. This is where the reality of fear was exposed and I could see that anything that had limits could not have come from God. I could see that not only had the spirit of fear convinced me to rob God financially in tithes and offerings, the spirit of fear had also convinced me to rob God in gifts and talents because everything God had given me was intended to be offered back to him at the most basic kingdom level possible, which is 10%. That's when I knew that robbing God of his 10% was bigger than my finances. It answered why I was working paycheck to paycheck and acquiring financial loans to secure basic necessities. Because if you fail the basics, there's no intermediate and if you fail the intermediate, there's no advance. You see, spiritual basics birth babies. I'm going to say it again. Spiritual basics births babies. So how long do you plan to just be pregnant? Do you want to give birth? Or does the thought of aborting makes it easier for you to move on? make a generous donation to Deborah or Ryan, please cash out dollar sign M Craft. Again, dollar sign M-C-R-A-F-T. Please thank you for your continued support.